Hey, it's Joe Amoya, founder and creator of GPSforlove.com. You ever been with a guy where you knew he had potential? You saw glimpses of how great the relationship could be, but yet he never was able to give you what it is that you were ultimately looking for. Well, I have a phrase for this. It's called emotional constipation. And emotional constipation is when you're with a guy and it's just not getting done. It's just not happening. It's like when you're sitting on the bowl and you're pushing and you're trying and you're, uh, you're straining, but no matter how you try, <laughs> you're just not letting go. It's just not happening. Well, that's exactly what happens in a relationship. See, one of the biggest challenges that you're having in your love life is you're pursuing guys who are emotionally constipated. You see the potential, they give you a little glimpse, but at the end of the day, they're just not delivering the goods. Well, I've got three tips, three signs that are gonna help you recognize when a guy is emotionally constipated. Because see, one of the challenges you have is you're looking for the attraction, you're looking for the chemistry, and you're so focused on that, and you jump into bed a little too soon before you actually even know the guy, and your estrogen, your hormones are through the roof, and you're not able to see the signs that the guy is emotionally constipated. Because the truth is the signs, they're always there. You may not see them right away, but if you date a guy, you give him enough, you give him enough time, you give him a chance to show you his true colors, he's gonna show you how emotionally constipated he really is. So here are the three signs which let you know. Number one is that he's a walking contradiction. He says one thing and does another. I hear it all the time. Why would a guy say he wants to see me and then he doesn't call? Why would a guy tells me that he loves me but yet he doesn't take me around his family. The reason is he's emotionally constipated, okay? He's a walking contradiction. So that's sign number one. Sign number two is he's selfish. It's all about him. You know, I don't care how attractive a guy is, how great he is in bed. If you're out on a date and he's talking only about himself, he doesn't ask any questions about you or he's not accommodating, he doesn't sacrifice. He doesn't occasionally sacrifice his own needs in order to take care of you and to make you your, make sure you're happy. Well, he's shown you he's a selfish SOB and it's all about him. And as long as what you're doing works for him, he's cool. But the second it doesn't work for him, he's gonna leave or he's gonna start giving you crap because you know it's all about him. So that's the second sign is that a guy is selfish. And the third sign, and this is the most obvious one, and sometimes you think it's funny because it plays to your ego, it's, it's exciting, but he's only interested in sex, okay? I'm a guy and I love sex probably just about as much as anyone who walks on this planet. But the reality is it's just one part of a relationship. You know, you can have an amazing sex life, but if your relationship sucks outside of the bedroom, your life is gonna be crap. Okay, your relationship is going to suck. You're going to have one of those toilet bowl relationships. So unless you plan on staying in bed 24-7, 365, you better realize that a relationship involves more than sex. So a guy who's on the first date, who's asking about your favorite sexual positions, or you know he's asking you these intimate questions without showing that he's interested in getting to know you as a person, is showing you he's emotionally constipated. Now look, I'm gonna give you a little insight. I'm gonna give you a little tip, okay? Take you behind the mail curtain. Us guys, we know how to tell you what you wanna hear, okay? We know how to say and do all the right things. We know how to take you out, get a drink or two in you to loosen you up so that you'll do what we want you to do. Now I'm not proud of this, but it's just how it works. It's in the, it's in the mad handbook, okay? So I'm letting you know so that you know this is how it works. Okay, so if a guy is talking about sex and it's all about him and he's putting the hard press on you, okay, he's showing you that he's mostly constantly, he's not emotionally available, he's not ready to be in the relationship and be the man that you're ultimately looking for. So when you see these three signs, there's only one thing you need to do. Run, run far away, just like the roadrunner. Beep, beep, shh, cloud of dust and get the hell out of here. And when you do that, this whole dating and relationship thing will become so much easier because the truth is the red flags, the signs are always there. You just be, have to be able to see them and recognize them. And when you do, everything becomes much easier and much more enjoyable. So I'd love to hear from you. I want you to go back. I want you to take some mirror time. Look at your past relationships and see 
where were the guys emotionally constipated? What were the red flags that you were missing? What were you not seeing? And then if you go ahead and just share what you've learned in the comments section below, because what you're, what you have experienced is going to help somebody else who, who is reading this. As always, it's an honor and privilege to be with you. I'll see you next time. Much love.